What's up YouTube? I'm Vaughn and this is the Gear Channel where we discuss collectibles, hobbies, compare games from tabletop to video games. And today we are doing another statue unboxing and it's none other than the Transformers Air Commander Starscream by PCS. Now this statue is amazing and honestly it scales so well with Masterpiece uh, Transformers as well so it's definitely the perfect size comparison and also it's definitely a lot cheaper than planning of getting the MP52 one because that one's about $500 while this statue market price is around $70 instead so it's definitely a lot cheaper now this statue is definitely meant for wing display purposes and I know compared to the MP52 it doesn't transform or doesn't have the posability as well but honestly I really don't mind because I'm not really a big Starscream fan and the reason why is because I never really liked him and the only time I actually did like him was only in Transformers Armada. Definitely like and subscribe if you understand exactly what I'm talking about. But I always find the cheapest price for Starscream even for my Masterpiece ones. As soon as I find a really good deal that's the only way well I get him but I'll never pre-order or anything like that. Now with that being said let's get started on the actual review. And here he is and as you can see he looks awesome. We're going to take a close look at the box first. So we have Starscream, very G1 look. Okay, age 14. He looks pretty sick. We're going to go on to the side. We have the Transformers, more than meets the eye. Starscream, Air Commander. Check in the back. And we have Starscream, we have Bumblebee, and Grimlock as well. And then we have the same thing as the other side. Bottom, we have Hasbro and Authentic Transformers, not Generation. Okay, pretty cool. And at the top, the Transformers, more than meets the eyes. So let's open this up. So we're just going to go right over here. And it's quite simple to open it. So it's not too... If I don't break the box, that would be amazing. So then you could pretty much just slide it. And even when he's not in the box, and I've been debating of maybe bringing him back in the box and displaying him in it, because what I really do like about this is that it this is a really nice box. The Decepticon logo, everything, this is a very nice box and maybe i'll see how it looks while he's displayed into it but in the meantime we're just going to put that onto the side over here and let's get back into this guy so we just have to open it like this and pull him out and right away if my camera would like to focus this looks so cool like, there's no complaints or anything. This thing looks amazing. And it's like holding a masterpiece. Like, it's pretty well done. There's no complaints. Okay, and we have the stand still inside. Let's see if it stands. Oh, perfect. It stands. Let's see if we can pull this out. I'm just going to put this onto the side as well. It's okay. I want to take better shots too, so... Oh, a bit dirty, but it's okay. Looks really, really cool. Love it. And to put it in, because there's actually one bigger than the other. And over here, you can see. So we just have to put it in like that. And if my camera would like to focus, thank you. This is amazing. Amazing sculpt. We're going to take a closer look at him definitely but this guy looks really sick and everything about him is just perfect decepticon logos as well now he doesn't have any posability at all but still this thing just looks amazing the paint everything okay let's get a better look at him so as you can see, this guy looks amazing. And yes, I have a spin table now. So, you know, we're upgrading the channel a bit, especially with this. So he looks amazing. There is no complaint. You can see all the details, front, back. The statue definitely was very well made. Uh, maybe it could have had some more Decepticon logo on the back wings, but doesn't really need it. And 
Honestly, if they're being more G1 accurate, you don't really see it all the time. Star screen has on the back. Usually it's always in the front, but definitely really cool. Let's take a closer look of the head. So taking a closer look at the head sculpt, we can see it's really well painted. The chest, the arms, everything about it just looks amazing. There's really no complaint. I cannot say anything wrong with it. Like. Even the fact that it doesn't have any pose ability and it is stuck in one pose, but it just looks amazing. I have no complaint out of all the statues I have. I have to say this is probably one of my favorite ones. So definitely is worth it. So for me, the Decepticon logo as the base is amazing. It's a great idea. I'm kind of happy that they chose that instead of maybe some like battleground, but honestly, it's nice. It's very clean. And the others as well, like Megatron and Soundwave also have Decepticon logo as their base. So I definitely do enjoy that all of them has the same stand as well so definitely they will all look good side by side but speaking of side by side let's check some size comparison and here he is next to the transformers red series star screen coronation now definitely this is from our last review and there is already a big size difference now let's compare it to some masterpieces here he is next to the mp29 Plus Shockwave. Now, this is clearly a perfect size comparison. It's pretty much scales exactly like the G1 show. So I'm very happy that it scales perfectly with Shockwave. Let's check with our other Decepticons. Here he is next to the Toys R Us exclusive MP02 Soundwave. Now, this is just awesome and Looks amazing. Now we have to check how it looks side by side with Megatron. Okay, so there is a decent size difference compared to Megatron, which is the MP36 Plus. But honestly, I think this is a perfect size when you're dealing with Starscream compared to Megatron. Because Starscream was pretty small compared to the rest of the Decepticons. And just for show, sure, let's see how all of them look together. So me personally, I think all of them together just looks amazing. And I've been debating if I want to display all of them together. And I'm starting to think, yeah, I definitely do. That's it for a statue unboxing. Now, if you guys enjoyed today's video, you know what to do. Like and subscribe. And if you want a sneak peek of future products we're planning to review on the channel, you can follow me on my Instagram, Vaughn Gear. I'm Vaughn, and this is the Gear Channel.